Hi everyone. So I just wanted to come on and show you a video tutorial of the style I wore yesterday, which is kind of like a twist out uh, crisscross updo that I came up with. So let's get started. So what you don't see here is that I actually set my hair the night before using two things, the coconut curling cream by Cantu and also the Eco, Sty Eco Styler Gel. So I just twisted my hair like I would do um, a normal twist out. Um, and I love, love, love the Coconut Curling Cream by Cantu. It leaves my hair so moisturized and just, and I have really dry hair, so I find that it really helps me um, keep my hair moisturized. So um, the twists are about medium size, as you can see here. They do vary. Um, it's in no way perfect. Um, so I just grab some hair, start twisting, um, whether they're sometimes smaller or larger than the twist before it, not a big deal. Um, but they are all, all of the hair is kind of pulled forward. And as you can see, I kind of twisted it all towards the left side of my head, um, which I kind of figured um, the night before that that's how I would want to wear my hair ever since I did my undercut. I love to show it, and so um, I always kind of choose to tend to show off the right side. I don't know why, but um, it works best for me or it's the side that I like best. So I pull all the hair over to the left, and I just kind of twisted, did several twists to the left. And then you can see as I'm unraveling that some of them are not as defined like that one right there. Um, but that's okay because, you know, as you do, and that's the kind of the plus of doing updos is you can hide those pieces um, and it's not as critical to the style. Um, so I'm just still unraveling these lovely twists and it's easy to miss um, a twist, which you'll you'll kind of see here that um, I kind of leave some lingering until the very end, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Again, you can hide those. So, and this is all in the morning. This is in the morning, me kind of just getting ready for work. Um, there goes a piece right there that I almost forgot. And so I'm just still unraveling the twist. And again, my hair feels really, really good and moisturized thanks to that coconut curling cream by Cantu. So at this point, I kind of feel like I've got all the twists out and I have no idea, no idea at this point what I'm gonna do with my hair. And this is how it always starts. Bobby pins are key. But at this moment, you guys, I'm seriously have no idea what I'm gonna do with my hair. So what I do is I just start playing with it and I start moving it this way and that way. and. You know, I love pompadours. I love kind of, um, you know, the bigger hair up front. So that's kind of how I started here, is just kind of pulling a, a good portion of the hair back and tucking it around here. Again, nothing, I mean, there's no strategy here. It's just kind of tuck and pull pieces where I like them, there goes that piece that's not very defined. You just pull that sucker right back, not a big deal at all. And I'm just tucking that piece, those this section of hair around, and I'm gonna secure it with a bobby pin. If I can get the bobby pin. <laughs> secure it with a bobby pin there. And then I've kind of got a gist, okay, so I know I want this 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 big section here. What am I going to do with the rest of the hair? I have no idea. So I'm just kind of playing with it, pulling it over. Oh, there goes a twist that I forgot to unravel. And so what am I going to do? Am I going to pull it over? Initially that this seemed like a good idea, um, but you can see as I'm kind of playing with it, I don't really like the way that it's looking. So I just keep playing. So I say, hey, what if I twisted it, maybe gave it a little bit more dimension? And so I twist the hair, and then I'm gonna play with that and see if that works for me at all. 
pulling it this way, pulling it that way. You guys, it's really just trial and error. I mean, until I find something I like, I just play with the hair. Um, and it's going to turn out that I don't really like that twist. So I'm gonna unravel it, and then I'm gonna split the sections and pull one section over. And I'm actually gonna like the way that this looks. Um, and again, pieces may come out, not a big deal. Bobby pins solve all of that problem. So I'm just kind of fixing the hair, kind of trying to, to create some separation between the big section that I had already pinned back and this new section that I pulled over. And I'm going to secure some more bobby pins around for that piece of hair that just wants to come out. And then once I do that, I'm gonna come back around and make sure that I like the way that this second section of hair is placed, kind of wrapping it around the larger section. And I, I like the way that that looks. So I'm going to secure that with a bobby pin as well. Obviously, there's a lot of misplaced hairs there not a big deal not a big deal don't try not to get caught up in the little things because it's not it's really not critical and nothing that a bobby pin can't solve but as you can see I'm kind of playing with those pieces that are still kind of sticking up tucking them in um, and I'm gonna add another bobby pin to that section so I can make sure that it's secured and then I've got this section here so what do I want to do with it I can wrap it around the other direction to kind of form this kind of crisscross look I can leave some of the twists out and that could be very cute um, but I'm just kind of playing with to see what I like better and lately I tend to prefer a complete full updo not really having any hair hang down I'm not really sure why um, there was a point in my, my hair journey where I love to have kind of hair down in my face, but right now I'm loving the full complete updos. So as you can see, I kind of swept that, that third section over the opposite side and secured it with a bobby pin. And so here you kind of have pretty much the final look. I'm just kind of primping and assuring that there aren't any out of place hairs, making sure that I really like the way that the look has turned out. And I'm gonna grab my handy dandy brush so I can brush down uh, my undercut and make sure that it's in good shape, which I actually need a trim. But when the hair starts growing back from my undercut, you can really see the lines. Um, really clearly, which I, I actually do like. Um, but that's pretty much it for the most part, guys. Really simple. I think it maybe took me 10 minutes, no more than 10 minutes to do this portion of the hair. It took me 10 minutes to set the hair the night before with my twists. And that's it, I'm ready to go. So again, not a lot of time and really cute updo that I'm really happy with and you guys seem to like too. So I hope that you are able to try this look out at home and please show me um, what your styles end up looking like. Make it your own, do whatever you wanna do. Have fun with your hair guys. This is, this is all about having fun and don't worry again about misplaced hairs. Nothing a bobby pin can't solve. So I think that's it guys. One more turnaround for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.